Altered Carbon is a cyberpunk science fiction novel from Richard K. Morgan, set 300 years in the future in what could be classed as a dystopian interstellar society. In the world of the series, human consciousness can be digitised and human bodies have been reduced to sleeves, which are interchangeable vessels for minds to be uploaded to. The series follows Takashi Kovacs, the sole surviving soldier from a group of elite warriors whose mind has been imprisoned for centuries before being brought back to life in a new sleeve. Billionaire businessman Lawrence Bancroft has sought out Kovacs to solve a murder, his own. So there are scenes of stomach-churning violence in the novel Altered Carbon and its follow-up sequels Broken Angels and Woken Furies. Some might even call this ultraviolent. According to the Wiktionary definition of ultraviolence, Ultraviolence means an unnecessary, unprovoked, usually brutal, violence. Violent acts simply for the thrill and entertainment of it. Its term was reportedly first used in the Anthony Burgess dystopian crime novel A Clockwork Orange by the character Alex Delage, a sociopath who robs, rapes and assaults innocent people for his own amusement. What we are after now was the old surprise visit. That was a real kick and good for smacks and lashings of the ultra-violent. Alter Carbon was also picked up by Netflix with the first season airing last year and the second season just about to air now. Critics and fans of the series pretty much agree that it's pretty true to the book, except for one scene in particular. A scene that for anyone that has read the book will probably stick out in their minds as one of the most violent scenes ever put to word. The scene from the book sees our anti-hero, Kovacs, captured and his mind uploaded into a virtual torture chamber. In this digital setting, where people experience everything as though it's real, things like pain, Kovacs is turned into a woman who is on her period. Then, in the body of this woman, she's tortured. Like, really tortured. The reason he's uploaded as a woman is done for a specific reason. Firstly, to break the hardwiring of Kovacs' combat body, according to Morgan in an interview with The Guardian, and also so the pain would be more intense. Women have more nerves per square inch in their body, they have a higher tolerance for pain, and they can last longer, generally. I mean, just look at childbirth. The point of uploading Kovacs into the body of a woman was so that she can feel more of the pain and so that he can last longer in that body. So, according to Morgan, that was the reasoning behind it. The book then goes on to explain how violent men then take advantage of this. The scene from Altered Carbon reads, there's no kind of conditioning in the known universe that can prepare you for having your feet burnt off, or your nails torn out, cigarettes stubbed out on your breasts, a heated iron inserted into your vagina. So you get the idea. Not nice stuff. The scene from the TV show, however, changes this so that Kovax is not uploaded as a woman, he's uploaded as himself, and it's arguably less violent. It features fingernails being ripped out, along with limbs being chopped off. Hardly tame, but still, if there was reasoning for this in the original source material, the book, why was it changed for the TV show? Showrunner, later Caligridis, revealed in an interview with io9 that she insisted the sequence was cut. She said the rationale for the scene in the source material wouldn't come across on television and that it would turn into some torture porn thing, which she says she was not comfortable with. She said, It was my decision. That isn't something I wanted to make. And if I PC'd myself, I seriously do not care. She added, Whoever got tortured has to be the person who gets up and does the killing. Otherwise, the emotional math doesn't add up. There's no moment when I can really enjoy, for lack of a better word, the vengeance. Because what I've done is I've objectified the female form, made her the object of all the torture, and put a dude in the place of taking care of the business. Whether you agree with the scenes amend or not, you have to admit she has a point. There is a lot that can be lost in translation from book to television, and decisions are made all the time about how this can be navigated. But then you have to ask, if this can be navigated for the TV show, why couldn't it be navigated for the book? Was this piece of ultraviolence necessary? But then you also have to ask, 
Is necessity anything to do with it at all? In a 2018 interview with The Guardian, Morgan said that he's actually not a fan of violence, but he does love it in his entertainment. A lot of my writing comes from rage, he said. It's all been vomited out onto the page. I'm incensed by how badly humans behave. He suggests that this is a reaction to how we, as people, could be so much better. Speaking on that particular scene, Morgan said most of the detail he actually drew from Amnesty International reports. I'd been reading about the torture of female dissidents in Iran and Colombia, he said. I was filled with this fury. According to the interview, Morgan says he was fine about the change made to the TV show and admits the scene in the book has, to quote, been called out as being super sexist and exploitative. However, he did say that it never seemed this way to him. He said, To me, it was kind of allegiance. That Kovacs was going to suffer what a woman in this situation suffer. And then, of course, he comes back later and slaughters everybody in sight. Later in the interview, Morgan goes on to say, There's no limit to my capacity for vindicative violence, I think, if some of these switches are tripped. I look at what goes on in places like Iran, especially against women. Violence against women always makes me angry. And when I say angry, I mean red mist angry. Morgan is a consultant on the Netflix adaptation, which plans to run for five seasons, popularity upholding. Interestingly, he also told The Guardian that working on the show has sort of woken up his interest in Kovacs again. So you never know, we could be getting some more sleeve action from Morgan sometime in the future. Personally, generally when I'm faced with questions such as, is ultraviolence necessary? I tend to always fall on the side of censorship being bad. I tend to think, who are we to judge the artistic integrity of the author or the artist or whoever it is, even if that vision was literally just to turn the audience's stomach? Does that make it any less art? To have such a physical, guttural response to a piece of writing can be a very powerful thing. But in this case, I completely understand where Calagridis is coming from. Would the audience have experienced the same gratification from the vengeance that followed the torture if, visually, it was a different person unleashing bloody fury? Without the narrative of the book to guide us through, would this have been lost? Would there have been a giant disconnect? Possibly, but then possibly not. I guess we'll never know. One thing I know for certain is that for me, the scene from the book stands out much more in my mind than the scene does from the TV show. What we can draw from that, I'll leave down to you. So that's it for this video. As always, please leave your comments in the comment section. I'm always interested to read these. Please like the video if you like the content and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Until next time guys, happy reading.